Today I'm going to talk about a protein called avenin, A-V-E-N-I-N, -E and this is a prolamide or prolamin, I'm probably saying it wrong, it's a derivative or it's a cousin to gluten. Nobody really knows about this and it's found in oats. And the reason I'm talking about this is because I've been trying to go gluten-free the best I can because I had a couple injuries. I have possibly celiacs, possibly Crohn's, I don't know. Um, but my, my, my inflammation's been like through the roof all my life. And ever since I went gluten-free, I've been able to flatten my stomach, lose weight, remove a lot of inflammation. Um, and lately, I've been really, really diligent on eating all the vegetables, eating the, the meat, raw milk, just doing everything you're supposed to do, doing everything kind of properly. Um, I went heavy on the vegetarian side for a while to clean myself up, and then I slowly added back meat. And then as I added back the meat, I got so excited for the meat that I just started only eating the meat and avocado and fruit and doing pretty much a carnivore diet not by not by de by by choice i kind of did it on default or just by accident and then i noticed a bunch of things and i'll make another video about what i noticed when i was only eating vegetables and what i noticed when i was only eating meat right now i have a nice blend of the two um but something that i always notice is as i'm eating properly I'm doing all these things correctly. I'm eating vegetables, I'm not eating gluten, I'm staying gluten-free. I don't eat anything with the word gluten. I check all the labels, I ask all the questions in the restaurant if the, the ingredients are cross-contaminated. I'm really diligent about it. So I know after doing this for almost two years now, if there's gluten in a product or I eat something at a restaurant or somewhere that, that kind of poisons me, because I'll feel it instantly in my colon or my small intestine um, down here. Like it'll start to swell up or I'll, you know, I just know the feeling that, that something's not supposed to be there. Um, is it the end of the world? No. Does it blow me up for the day? Yeah. Um, it's pretty painful for me. Um, I don't know if anybody else experiences that, but for me, it's pretty rough. Um, it's not debilitating, but it'll, it'll ruin my night. Um, and my stomach will be really puffed out. I can't do sit-ups. I won't go to the gym the next day because of the inflammation and the bloatedness because my stomach just kind of protrudes out instead of like going in because all the organs, the intestines and the colon are all inflamed. So it's all swollen, you know, and it comes up bloated. I usually get really irritable. I get brain fog, um, lack of connection to source, God, whatever you want to call it. All these things really, really do happen now that I've cleaned up so much that I can really f notice the difference or when things change in my body. Um, so I, I really notice it. So as I've been going along this journey and eating properly, I notice that sometimes I go to San Francisco to the city for the day and there's a place called Cafe Rebel that I really, really enjoy eat, um, going to and studying, eating doing research, writing these blogs and, and just doing stuff. You know, it's really cool on Polk, you can sit outside, blah, blah, blah. Not that any of that matters, but they have this amazing um, crunchy bowl that I get. It's got sweet potato, kale, avocado, shiitake mushrooms, amazing with, I don't know what the dressing is, but there's no gluten in the dressing. There's no gluten in this bowl. It's got chopped up peanuts all good and then it's got puff quinoa all right so maybe the quinoa has something to do with it i don't know maybe then they have this amazing chia pudding it's made with coconut milk chia seed smashed apricot on top oof it's so good with date crumble so i didn't know what date crumble was until yesterday when i asked about it like what is this date crumble or this ingredient that makes it so good because there's no nuts in it. You know, it just says date crumble, apricot spread, um, chia seed, coconut milk. And I'm like, great, perfect, I can eat this. So those are two things that I eat. But every time I eat either of the two, I always feel 
Um, well, every time I eat the chia pudding, if I only eat the chia pudding, I've eaten clean throughout the day, fruits, vegetables, nothing different. I notice that my gut flares up, my small intestine, the colon, I feel like that bulge. It's not a big bulge, but it's enough that I feel it. And I'm like, where is this coming from? You know, and it's only after I eat this. So I had to really investigate the ingredients in there. And I found that date crumble is really like oats mixed with dates. And I try not to eat oats just because I just don't want to eat the oats because there's too much carb. And I really believe there's gluten in it, but technically they're gluten free. And when they say gluten free, they're not made in a place where it, it, it contains gluten. So they're legitimately probably gluten free, but what they are not, and this is what I'm getting at, is prolamin free. And that is the building block to gluten. So you have gluten, which is a gilliadan, and that's found in like wheat, barley, rye, all those things. So when you go gluten free, yeah, you're not getting any gluten from this. But when you eat oats, there's something called avenin. A-V-E-N-I-N. -N. This is a cousin of gluten. It's not gluten, but this is a cousin of gluten. It's in the gluten family. It has the same effect as gluten, and this is found in oats. So when they say your, glu uh, your oats are gluten-free, they're not lying. There's no gluten in it. It is gluten-free, depending on how it's raised, made, farmed, everything. It's probably gluten-free if they say so. The government doesn't lie, right? But let's just say it's gluten-free. So everybody's jumping on this bandwagon, they're eating oats. So I eat these oats this day, because it's like overnight oats, it's gluten-free, all desserts are made with oats, you know, oat milk, oat this. Okay, so I had the date crumble, I'm like, why does my stomach hurt? So then I started Googling what's in it, and there's this thing called avidin. And then I Googled avidin, this is a gluten protein, derivative and this has the same effect as gluten on people's bodies same everything the only difference to this one is gluten is almost instant this one is a little bit of a delayed effect where you might feel it an hour later two hours later 30 minutes later a week later whatever it might be depending on the amount and your sensitivity but no matter what it causes inflammation it causes the same um, relapse as the gluten so when I started researching it, a lot of stuff came, well, actually nothing really came up. There's only a few people that spoke about this. And what I noticed is um, that the doctors that would talk about it said their patients would come in, they would go gluten-free, they were doing everything properly, but they still had like the leaky gut, the swollen intestine, the bad skin, the brain fog all the time. And the common denominator was that they all ate um, sorry, I just got to turn this stupid thing off. Um, they all ate oatmeal every single day. And every morning they were like, okay, I'm just going to eat oats, oatmeal. You know, oats are good. Overnight oats. I'm doing overnight oats. I'm using gluten-free um, flour mixes. I'm using oats to bind with my stuff. I'm, I'm drinking oat milk um, in my coffee now or whatever. You know, I'm gluten-free but technically you're not. And that's what nobody will ever tell you. It's not that it spikes your blood sugar. Yeah, it probably does that. Not that it's high in carbs, you know, whatever, so be it. But what it does have is avenin. Avenin is gluten. It's a cousin of gluten, has the same effect. So when you go gluten-free and you're eating the oats all the time, you wouldn't even notice this is happening to your body because if you're eating the oats every single day, you're inflaming yourself, you're spiking that every single day, and slowly you're destroying the lining of your intestine, your colon, and your villi, depending on how much oats you eat throughout the week. If it's once here and there, so be it. But if it's every morning for breakfast, eventually that's gonna catch up to you, and then the, the tearing, the IBS, all that's gonna just come to the forefront over time. Um, so I've been writing a lot of sub stacks and I got about 15 articles of research and experience and just explaining what avenin is, where it's found in the oats, where we're missing out on it and where it's 
really not gluten free these oats and that's what we're lead, led to believe and my whole problem with this whole thing now is people really follow influencers on social media on TikTok, on ig on youtube you know it's usually like a fit guy with his shirt off telling you guys how to be uh, diet the latest supplement or it's like a mom five easy ways to feed your kids healthy food real quick with no research no knowledge no nothing they're thin they're in shape they work out hard or they just maybe don't eat or they just have a good 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 body type but slowly over time they're going to develop these diseases or tears in the intestine you know depending on who's following this you know these people are right already or they're already thin but when the millions of followers see this they're usually the average american who's a little bit overweight looking for an answer looking for a new diet looking for some kind of help they're not turning to the medical system because they don't trust them they don't know where else to go they try and do their own research there's limited information but then in your face every day are these fitness people these influencers and they're like okay well this guy's ripped he must know what he's talking about this woman's thin she must know what she's talking about Ooh, this is really simple and it says gluten free. This must be the answer. So there's no reason I can't indulge in these types of foods and get the results that these people are getting. And they wonder why it doesn't work or the IBS and all the other stuff gets worse is because there's still this avenin, which is a form of gluten, but not in the actual gluten family where it's labeled gluten. Gluten's only in wheat, barley, and rye. In corn, it's called zein, Z-E-I-N. In oats, it's called avenin, A-V-E-N-I-N. Look it up. Go check my Substack. I'm going to keep making videos on this as soon as I can really dial it in and get really clear on what it is, what it does, and some, some stronger information. But I just wanted to put that together and just throw that out there for now. Um, but that's something that I just got really passionate about because I'm tired of getting these gluten spikes and being so diligent in my diet to have something stupid like this happen. And it always comes in the form of oats for me. You know, it's, is it major? Does it ruin everything? No, but it slows me down, you know, in a week. I do it one time a week and it's no good. So I need to find an alternative to this. And people who are eating the oats every single day are, are not reaping the benefits of the gluten-free, grain-free diet. And they're still having the same problem, you know, with the brain fog, with all these things, the bloating, the belly, and they're, they're not getting answers because no one knows where it's coming from because all these influencers and these people are, are giving them poor information or didn't do the research. And just because they're ripped and they work out hard, your average American who doesn't do any of this stuff and you know is on the go is going to turn to the oats and quickly, I'm, I'm, I'm healthy I, I, at, at these Starbucks. I'm asking for oat milk supplement. That's like a huge thing anywhere you go. Like, add oat milk, we have oat milk, supplement oat milk, that thing is destroying you, you know, and then people are eating overnight oats as quick breakfast. Yeah, it's really easy. And it tastes great. But is it worth what's really going on in there? If you're trying to live this healthy gluten free lifestyle and reap the benefits. So the whole argument for me is that it's not gluten free. Technically, it is gluten-free. It's not avenin-free or prolamine-free. Um, I'll explain those two words later when I do more research on them, but those are gluten derivatives and they have the same effect as gluten. Um, they're the building blocks for it. But the problem here too is all the influencers and where these people are getting their information since they're not turning to doctors and people are promoting this and there's no regulation saying anything and these people are following it religiously and just destroying their bodies. Same thing with the carnivore diet. Um, I did a whole sub stack, write up 10 articles on that, why it's not good to go only carnivore and why it's not good to only go vegetarian based on, excuse me, um, Eastern and Western philosophies, the yin and yang of the food. And, you know, I compared it to Western philosophy, so it's easy to read. I'd highly recommend checking that out. Um, I'll be back again with a whole bunch of videos now because I'm excited I got an iPhone 15 plus max and I'm hoping the quality of the videos come out way better than my other iPhone that was a 13 and it looked like I had a damn flip phone from like the 80s or 90s or 2000s or whenever that was not too long ago where I grew up. Um, yeah, gluten, yes, the oats are gluten free. 
oats. No, they're not avenin free, which is the same thing as gluten. It's just the cousin to gluten with the same effects. So maybe want to look harder at the oats and stop eating all of them. Um, see ya.